Super B on the first law of motion, part two. Part one, two. All right, we talked about in the last video, which you probably remember saying, that the weight force is equal to the normal force. Now, there's also circumstances where the object could be moving, which is the second part of our scenario here. Oh, let's see. Let's go with, what do you say? Green at constant velocity. Now remember, the forces are balanced. There will be no net force. So let's say this same book is sliding across the table. If the same book is sliding across the table, the applied force, which is how much you're pushing the book, and I'll represent that with force of A. The applied force is equal to what force? Exactly the same magnitude, opposite direction. Friction uh, force. Uh, force of friction. Awesome, Hunter. The force between the book and the table, the friction, which is the force between two surfaces when one of the objects or both of the objects is in motion, is the force of friction. So the applied force is equal to the force of friction? Exactly. So that is another equation where the first law of motion is true, using force. This time, the velocity is not zero, it's constant velocity. It's a constant velocity other than zero. So in order for that object to move at a constant velocity, you have to be pushing it, and the table has to resist motion. For it to have constant velocity. For it to have constant velocity, and they have to be exactly equal. Ever how much you push it is equal to how much the table is resisting it moving. So it's kind of like this, I'm moving along like this. Because you're pushing this way, and the friction's pushing this way. If both of those are equal, you have constant velocity. Now there's one other scenario where you have constant velocity. And if you remember back on your ready, set, goes, this was like one of yours a couple, two, three days ago. Can anybody think of a situation up and down, vertically, where you have constant velocity when uh, the forces are equal? Gravity, terminal gravity velocity. like when you fall, free fall? Terminal velocity. Terminal velocity, excellent. Taylor and uh, Jonathan. <laughs> Terminal velocity. That's a situation in free fall when the force of the air resistance is equal to what? Force of gravity. Force of weight, which is due to gravity. So in this scenario, if you have like a, let's say a basketball, baseball, and free fall, air resistance is pushing up, call it AR, like air, air resistance, all right? Force air resistance, it's far, it isn't going far. Well, yes it is too, because it's moving. It's equal to the weight. When these forces are exactly equal, opposite in sign, same in magnitude, then you'll have terminal velocity. So those are two, well actually three equations for the proving that the first law of motion is true. Boom. And that's 